and welcome to Light and Life Kids. I hope you've had a great week, whatever your week has looked like. We have been praying for you and cheering you on every single day, whether you've been at home and homeschooling or whether you've been actually at school, um, you have done an awesome job, so keep it up. Also, parents, carers, adults, siblings, whoever, you have done a cracking job as well. So well done. And this is from the heart of a teacher as well. We really do appreciate you. So keep going. I hope you're enjoying our new series as well, The Fruit of the Spirit from Galatians 5, 22. So, so far we've looked at love, joy, and this is our third week. Can you believe it? And we're looking at peace today. So let's crack on with our teaching and then we'll have our craft later on. So I want to come straight from the Bible and look at the first letter of peace, which is P. And I want it to stand for peace. All right. So I want to look at one of my favorite chapters in the Bible, which is Philippians 4. And this is verse 7. And it talks about peace and how it surpasses all things. So let's have a look. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, that means that it, it wipes out, it goes past, it doesn't matter whether you understand or not, you can still have peace. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So, can I just talk to you on a personal level? Whatever you're struggling with right now, whether it's there's too many things to juggle, I can't balance everything, I can't take care of the house, the kids, homeschool, shop, clean, look after the husband, whatever it is, you can do it. Just do your best. And you know what? In those moments when you can't do it, you feel like you are being defeated, just pause for a minute and think about that verse. God gives you that peace. It's like being in the eye of a storm. You've got the storm going on all around you, but you are in the middle with God and he is holding your hand. He has got his arms wrapped around you and he's saying, I love you. I am proud of you. You are amazing. Peace. Allow that to transcend. Wipe out all understanding. We don't understand what's going on in the world at the moment with everything to do with the coronavirus at the moment. Let God be that peace and surpass all of that. Ignore it, okay? Anything that's worrying you kids, let God be your peace. Let it overtake it, okay? Our second letter of peace is E. E, I want to stand for everyone. So it's no matter who you are, how old you are, whether you're a girl or a boy, whether you've got a massive family or a small family. This is for everyone. God loves you. He's created you and he loves you and he's got peace for you today. So don't worry. So we've got peace, everyone. And then what's our next letter? A. And this is always. So no matter, no matter whether it's the day, the night, it's 12 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 9 o'clock. He's got peace ready for you. So whether you're happy, sad, whether you can't sleep, I'm not sleeping very well at the moment because there is so many things to do. God gives you that peace always. And that leads into our next letter, C. So we've got, what have we got? Let's recap. P, peace, E, everyone and then A, always, and then C, 
is because he cares. I said before, he loves you. He cares for you. This love that God's got for us goes beyond just saying, I love you. He cares. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, down to earth to allow us to have a connection with God again, to be forgiven for our sins, the things we do wrong, because he cares for us. And because he cares for us, he wants to give us peace, which is incredible. Grab hold of that. And you know, if you don't feel cared for right now, you are cared for. You're cared for by us, but by the big man upstairs, God. Our last one is, even though we do things wrong. So E is for even though. Even though we feel like we don't make it, we're not perfect. We get things wrong, we think in the wrong way, we act in the wrong way, we say the wrong things. His peace and his love is still there for you. It's still there for me because he loves us. Have we got that yet? He loves us. He cares for us. He wants this peace to surpass, transcend all understanding. He wants us, even though our worlds are sometimes turned upside down, things happen, circumstances, situations happen that are out of our control. He wants to give us that peace even though whatever it is that you want to fill in there, even though I'm not uh, brainy, even though I didn't get full marks on that test, whatever it is, he still has that peace for us. He's made the rest of that way for us because he loves us. So last recap, and then we'll get on with our craft. So, peace. Peace from Philippians 4, 7. E for everyone. A, always. C, cares. And E, even though. Peace, always, always. Let's grab hold of that together right now. And let me pray before I finish grab hold of that peace. God, I thank you for your peace. I thank you for your, for your everlasting peace that is always there for us to grab hold of. Lord, and I pray for every child and adult watching this, that you give them peace in that situation that they're struggling with. Lord, I pray that they hold on to the peace that is like being in the eye of a storm where it's calm even though everything's going on around us. Lord, you give us that peace to be still, to stop. And I thank you for that. Lord, I pray for the children and adults, homeschooling, whatever their situation is right now. Lord, I pray that you surpass all understanding, Lord. Lord, and you help them to find that peace today right now in this moment that they grab hold of it with both hands god and they don't let it go lord and that they know that this this peace comes from you lord we thank you for today and thank you for the gift of our lives lord and i pray that for people that are not well right now god that you help them to heal quickly recover quickly god and to help us to find that peace in those situations. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello again, everybody. Today, we are going to do a craft based on our subject today, which is the subject of peace. You're going to need the following items, some colored paper with the word peace written on it, some white and green paint, a paintbrush, a black pen. For this craft, we're going to be getting our hands very messy. You will need to get your paintbrush 
and paint your hand with the white paint. When you have painted your hand, you will need to put your handprint onto your paper. Like this. And you should be left with a nice print. You might just need to give this a few minutes to dry. When you've washed your hands and your paint has dried, you need to draw a little beak and just colour it in a little bit. An eye. Some little feet at the bottom. And again, just shade these in with the black pen. You'll have to excuse my feet. Feet aren't really my forte. <laughs> but hopefully you can tell what they are. And then just draw something that just sort of resembles a wing on the side and you've made a little dove which is the symbol of peace the dove in the story of Noah anyway carried an olive branch so if you draw little branch coming out of his beak and then you will need your green paint next and your finger. Just dip your finger in the green paint, take it to your olive branch and just dab little olive leaves all the way down There we go. And there is your little dove of peace. Easy peasy. <laughs> We'd love to see if you can recreate some of these. Please post them on our Facebook page, Light and Life Kids. Have a lovely day and a great week.